what is the case about? In the lawsuit, Aqua Connect states that Apple worked closely with the company on development and sales before abruptly ending the partnership without any explanation back in 2011. Just a few months later, the Cupertino, California-based company launched its Lion operating system with a built-in screen-sharing tool, which Aqua Connect claims is based on its intellectual property, according to Mashable. Two patents under the probe are the U.S. Patent RE46386, updating of user session in a mock-derived computer system environment, and the U.S. Patent 8924502, system, method, and computer program product for updating of user session in a mock-derived system environment. The products at issue are some Mac computers, iPods, iPhones, iPads, and Apple TVs. The ITC stated that they would try to complete the investigation within 45 days. Not the first patent lawsuit this year. Just last week, Israeli tech firm Corefotonics, which is into dual lens camera technologies for smartphones, filed a lawsuit against Apple accusing it of using its patented technology in the iPhone 7 Plus and iPhone 8 Plus, according to McRumors. Corefotonics claimed that it approached Apple as one of its first acts as a company to establish a strategic partnership. Both the companies indulged in the discussion for some time, but it never led to a license agreement for the Corefotonics dual lens technology. Apple's lead negotiator expressed contempt for Corefotonics patents, telling Dr. Mendlovic, Corefotonics founder, and others that even if Apple infringed, it would take years and millions of dollars in litigation before Apple might have to pay something, Corefotonics said in its lawsuit. Last month, another patent lawsuit involving Apple was in the news. Vernix, who won a retrial against Apple last year, stated that the total final judgment amount would be $439.7 million, around $140 million higher than previously disclosed. The sum constitutes the jury verdict of $302.4 million in addition to willful infringement of $41.3 million, interest cost and attorney fees of $96 million.